Today, I'm going to talk about boxing and unboxing. Now, this is a pretty easy concept to understand, but people mess it up in interviews because they don't really understand what it's actually used for. Object-oriented languages need to handle instances in a type agnostic manner. This is what's known as polymorphism. But the problem is that we have two distinct types, value types and reference types. So for a moment, let's stop thinking in terms of types and let's start thinking in terms of species. The value species lives on the stack and that's integer, bool, float. The reference species lives on the heap and that's object and string. So how do we maintain polymorphism when we have two different species or two different types? Well, it's simple. Let's take one of those types and put it in a box and pretend it's the other species. So forget about instant strings for a moment and think about fish and chicken. Fish and chicken are two different species, kind of like two different types. The fish species lives in the ocean and the chicken species lives on land. But what if we have to transport the fish with the chicken? Well, we could just put the fish in a water-filled box and then we put it on a truck with the chicken. Essentially, the ocean-based fish can ride in the truck just like a land-based chicken because we boxed the integer species into an object species. When we get to our destination, we can unbox the fish and put it back in the ocean or convert the object back to an integer. So why do you even need to do this? Well, back in the early days of .NET 1.0, you didn't have list of type T. You had array list, and that was pretty much it. So array list wasn't strongly typed. So you could do all sorts of crazy stuff. I mean, here's a integer, here's a string, here's an empty string, here's a boolean, here's a float, here's a null. Now these value types had to be boxed before they were put onto the array list. And then they were unboxed when they came back off the array list and you performed operations on them. I'm gonna show you how to do that manually. So let's pretend we're in .NET 1.1. I'm gonna create a chicken here. Here's my string chicken. And I'm gonna create a fish. Here's my integer fish. I'm gonna create a truck. I'm going to add the chicken to the truck. I'm gonna add the fish to the truck. When the fish is added to the truck, it's going to be boxed. So let's see it in operation. Now I set up a breakpoint on the truck here so we can actually watch what's happening. So I'm gonna step through. I'm gonna add the chicken to the truck. As you can see right here, after we add the chicken, you have a string chicken in this array location. Now let's add the fish. Now as you can see right here, there's an integer in this array location. So far, so good. Now let's say somebody says, hey, can you add a, a second fish to that same box? Let's add one to the fish that's in there. So this seems pretty straightforward. We're gonna take that array location and we're gonna add one to it. Should, oh wait, we can't. Why can't we do that? Plus operator cannot be applied to operands of type object in int. This is very important. Remember, we've boxed this thing. This thing is no longer an integer. It's now an object. So how do we get around this? Well, we can unbox it temporarily, casting it to an integer, and the message goes away. So boxing is taking that value species and converting it into a reference species temporarily. Unboxing is taking that reference species that you converted before and converting it back into the value species. Practice this concept in the mirror or with a webcam until you have it cold. Good luck on your next interview.